Well, hello, friends. Today we are going to do a little kernel work, and I would like to um, fix up my uh, crash handling so that when you do something crashy, um, I, don't, I don't even know how to provoke a crash right now. When you do something crashy, um, I want it to um, say why it crashed. So basically, just like segmentation fault or um, illegal opcode, stuff like that. Because currently, it will tell us um, like which signal number crashed, but not really much more than that. So um, the first thing we're going to do is make like a little crashy program that we can use to help us. So I figured we would just make something like a crash program that does exactly that. Um, so let's see. Let's make this very simple. Okay. And let's say if RC is two, we can have a mode here. So um, why don't we do like um, no pointer DRF runs um, division by zero. And um, I guess what else is there? Illegal opcode, right? Um, I figure we can start with those modes, and then we'll say mode mode. It's just no point into reference. Okay, and then RC is two, and that should be one. We'll just check if it's. You know what, I'm just going to be lazy. Uh, and use. Because there's some um, there's an argument parser thing that someone contributed, but I haven't tried to use it yet, so I'm, I'm not really sure how. I don't, um, I don't remember what the API looks like, so I'm just going to do this quickly now. So let's see, and for null point to deref. Else, if we'll do um, division and finally illegal opcode. We'll call it O for opcode. Okay. And then um, we can put this mode is multi reference. Something like a volatile char um, crash me. Let's we'll do that and then we'll say crash me is um, beef. Beef like that. All right. Um, why don't we do like this actually? Okay. Uh, and of course, we should assert not reached here. And then we can have the division by zero. Do something like um, la la. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, divided by haha. Uh, how well we'll do this. So um, I wonder if the compiler will, will like actually allow this. I don't know. Hopefully it will because we're saying volatile and it won't optimize these things away, but we'll see. And finally, um, here we go up code. We can just do like asm volatile UD2. So not reached. Okay. I guess we could do like some um, volatile assembly for other scenarios too, but we'll just start with this and um, I guess here we can say like uh, we didn't crash. Uh, why? We should never get here. We should never get here, so we should just do this. Okay. Then we will 
to just install these things. And let's see how this works out. So crash, it's the um, null pointer dereference by default, right? So the signal 11, and then crash the legal opcode, then, well, we get the legal opcode here, and then the whole, whole kernel dies, seems like. That's not very good. And uh, let's see what happened with the division by zero. And we get a, wait, what? Yeah, divide error, right. So that one is good. And currently that's turning into signal 11 as well. And signal 11 is segmentation violation, so um, shit, what should it be? Division by zero. Should we say FE? No? Um, initial raw. Yeah, okay, so let's do SIG FE for that. That's correct. Then we know the crash program works at least. Um, so let's see. Then the first thing we're gonna do is tweak the shell so that it prints out something a bit more friendly um, for these messages. So what was this saying? Terminating by signal. Yeah, that one. So this is currently what we do, and we could print out the name of this signal instead. So we could do like, um, I guess just like that, really. Um, and then stir signal, get the termination signal from the wait result because blah, 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 blah. Where's the wait? Here, here we waited on the child, on each child in our execution chain. Um, and then we look at the um, status and we see that we had one that died due to the signal. So then if it was a sigint, we'll say interrupted. Um, but um, maybe we don't even need to do that because what does this thing say? Where are these? Interrupt. Yeah, we can just... We can just let everything go through this mechanism. So let's do this. And then printf is even kind of overkill. So we can just do like, uh, let's... Okay. Shell, let's install the shell. Okay, so let's try again. Crash, no point. Segmentation violation. It's pretty sweet. Illegal opcode, everything falls apart. Fine, whatever, we'll deal with that a bit later. Um, and crash D. Oh yeah, and um, division by zero is still giving us this one. So let's see. Let's see that we have a right name for this one. So this one is called floating point exception or division by zero. Let's do that. Divide error. Or, hmm. I guess it's not a floating point exception, actually. So let's just do division by zero for this one. We'll use SIG FE for it. Um, okay. So let's see. So the way, the way that it works is that when the CPU um, executes a division by zero, then uh, it will fire off an exception. And all of the exceptions are set up here in the um, interrupt descriptor table. And um, exception zero, this should probably have better names here, but exception zero is the um, uh, divide error exception. So we end up here, and there, actually we end up in this little piece of uh, assembly here that um, pushes everything on the stack and then calls into the C++ code so that we can 
do deal with this in, in Pleasant C++ instead of assembly, but, um, but this is where we end up. So what we do is, um, I guess we can see it here that we print divide error. Um, that's just the PID and the name. These are backwards for some reason. Usually I do it the other way around. So we can actually fix that up because why not? And we can also say divide error a little more pleasantly. Why don't we go ahead and make this look nice now that we're here anyway? Okay. And we will just swap those. Um, and now the problem here is that we are calling process crash and I think that crash will just turn everything into a, yeah, so it just turns everything into a zigzag of or a segmentation violation. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, zigzag here, or we can even say 11, but no, we, we should have the real name for it. Um, and where do these come from? They are in signal numbers dot h, right? So we have to pull that in here. It's a little bit of a weird uh, header dependency here, like the kernel pulling in libc, but whatever, just ignore that. Uh, and then we will have the signal here, and then we will set that as the termination signal. Because now when we get the um, tap, 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 where is it? Um, divide error, right? So when we get the divide error, we can call a crash with sig p. Um, yeah, I think that's slightly better. And then for the illegal opcode, where are you? Invalid opcode. Yeah, okay, invalid opcode, whatever. Um, we're going to pass sig ill, which is the illegal opcode thingy. And these are backwards here too. This is, this is irking me right now. So I'm going to fix this one too. And just a second. And we are almost there. I wish Qt Creator would indent these like I do. We have a little bit of uh, differences here. Okay. So then another issue is why are we falling apart when we get the invalid opcode? Um, and I can tell right away that that's because we're calling hang here. And hang is just a little helper that will turn off interrupts and halt the system. And we really don't need to do that. If a process gets an illegal opcode, we can just let it die. So let's see, let's, um, let's build a kernel now that we made these changes. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so crash. With the null pointer, it gives us seg violation, sure. And crash with a division by zero, fp exception. So we should fix that up. Let's say fp exception. Oh, wait, I already changed that. But, uh, oh shit, I didn't pick it up because we have to rebuild libc. And then we have to rebuild the shell. And then that didn't work because my libc was busted. So we'll build that again. Uh, daydreaming about a better build system, um, but never taking care of actually doing anything about it. Anyone recognize that? Okay. Crash D. Division by zero. That's more like it. Um, and what was the last one? Crash O for opcode. Illegal instruction. Very nice. That's nice. Okay. So um, uh, let's see. I like those. Then let's commit some of this stuff. Um, and then we can move on to something else. So let's see. What do we have in the 
shell or wait no what did we do in libc first of all okay so let's do that one separately libc um cfb let the string for cfb be division by zero since that's what it is that's really what we um signal I'm gonna call it that. Okay. Um, and then what else did we have? In the shell, right? Yeah, so in the shell, instead of doing this weird thing where we say terminated by signal and then a number, we'll just actually print the name of the signal. Um, yeah. Oh no, I'm not coming to A. What am I trying to do? Shell uh, when terminated when 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 uh, command when terminated by signal terminated by signal um, print the signal name uh, print signal description previously we were only printing the signal number. Okay, and then what else? So yeah, so in the kernel, process crash can now take a signal, and then that will be the termination signal for that process. And then in process.h, we just set it up so that segmentation violation is the default um, argument to crash. And then in the um, illegal opcode handler, or invalid opcode handler, Maybe we should be consistent with these everywhere. Invalid opcode. So what was it? What were we calling it? Illegal instruction. That was really the name of it. Um, yeah, so illegal instruction, we're saying that. And then we don't hang. And then we make sure to crash the process with sigil. Okay. And then we have the divide error. Um, So I guess we can say division by zero here too. Okay. Division by zero, and then for that one we say to get PE. Okay, so kernel. Um, send um, more specific signals when crashing due to. Okay, so for uh, division by zero, send sig p e or um, these little list uh, items here um, for illegal instructions and sig l and for um, why am I um, Forgetting what the last one was, seg, right? Um, for uh, da, 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 da. the rest, um, default to six sig. Okay, cool. Now we have all those changes. Now there's one more thing that I would like to fix here, and that's abort. Um, because what's abort is actually supposed to do here, we just crash and um, we. What crash will do is it will do an invalid opcode. So previously, what actually hanged the whole system. Um, but now, what it really should be doing is this, um, which sends this signal to ourselves. And I think we have to include signal.h for that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and the, um, well, previously, it used to do this, which was a huge hack job, um, but that's very, very incorrect because exit will run any registered exit time destructors, which you really, really don't want if you're doing an abort. Because abort is, for instance, what we do when an assertion fails, right? So let's see. Let's add something to the crash program for that. So we can do, um, call it maybe A. A. 
A, that's good. Wart. And we'll say if mode is a port, or port. And the serve not reached. And I think that sends to the lib, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll see how this goes. A illegal instruction. Oh, because I still have the old libc. I ran into the same trap again. And probably that one didn't actually go cleanly, even though it looked like it. Okay, okay. Let's see now. Crap. Dash, dash A. Segmentation violation. Uh, why? Um, that's a little bit surprising. Um, okay, wait. Aborting. Let's just say this. And we'll see one thing at a time here. Okay, so we're actually running that code. Um, okay, so we couldn't find region here for null pointer dereference. So it's trying to do an old ref. And why is that? We're doing a kill get pid sig. So we're sending the signal to ourselves. Um, and we can see that here, yeah, so crash is sending six to itself. Um, and six is sick and port, right? Yeah, so it's sick and board. Um, and then what the heck is happening then? Let's look in the um, signal dispatch stuff. So we'll turn on signal debug first of all. Away. Okay. All right. So let's see what's happening here. Send six to crash is sending Sigaborg to itself, and then we just die right away. Um. So here we are. Um, so I guess if you're sending a signal to yourself, then something special should happen. Uh, and that's what we have here. That is, if pid is mpid, then we do a yield. Um, I guess we should, what we should really do is we should move ourselves into the, um, block state, so state block signal, because that ensures that the scheduler is forced to, to dispatch the signal before it can reschedule this thread, because I wonder if that's what's happening, that this thread is just getting rescheduled without dealing with the um, signal. And so let's see, aborting, aborting, yeah, that's more like it. Okay, so, so this was the issue then, then uh, that after we send the signal to ourselves, we can't, um, we can't just keep executing and just doing a simple scheduler yield is not enough. Um, because, 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 I, I don't know why that's not enough, but I guess we, we just um, schedule us again immediately for some reason. But that's not really uh, inside the scope of, of this problem anyway, because this is the correct way of doing this, that um, when a process is re receiving a signal, then it should be blocked so that it can be forced to deal with that signal. Um, okay. 
And is there some special return value from kill? Hmm, on success, that at least one signal, some zero is return. I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, right, and then these are, oh, these are just fixed means here. Okay. So let's see, let's remove that debugging code that we added, or rather turn off that debugging option. Uh, and then in the crash program, don't have to say aborting, and maybe we this one should be I, or illegal opcode, and we can change the name of that to illegal instruction. Okay, and this one can be called S for Okay, um, and then you can say RC is not to usage crash. Um, how does this work again? Is this how you do it like that? I guess that's understandable. Mm. What the hell is you name saying? Does it have a usage thing? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, it's not the most important thing in the world. Um, the, most, the important thing is that it works. So. Let's go ahead and say, uh, what did we change now? We changed in the kernel that when we send a signal to ourselves with the kill syscall, then we make sure that we block the thread that's sending it so that it has a chance to actually deal with the signal. And when I'm saying that, what I mean is that in the scheduler, um, in scheduler pick next, when it's going through all of the threads that are currently not runnable, and then getting to this point here, um, dispatch any pending signals. What, because we are not runnable, then there's no way that we've been scheduled until this code here will run. Um, and then this guy here, I think, yeah, this guy here, uh, dispatch one pending signal, uh, determines whether or not the thread should be unblocked. So once you move into blocked signal, um, you eventually end up here, and this is the, um, you have to pass through this path here before you can become unblocked again, um, which is why this is the safe way of doing signal dispatch in Serenity. Anyways, uh, and then in the um, abort implementation now, we just call race sig abort. Okay, and I guess we should maybe check that default behavior for SIG abort is default signal action dump core. Yeah, that's right. But I just wanted to verify that we have the right default signal action for it. Okay. So we'll say kernel. Um, let's see, I guess. Or actually, these are two separate things. So let's add process.h. Kernel sending a signal to yourself should move the thread to box or until this patch. Um, by moving the send and receiving thread. To blocked um, signal state. Um, we uh, ensure that the thread doesn't continue executing. It's been dispatched. And then abort. 
finally. Let's see. Um, implement a port as race second port. Yeah, I mean, that's just what that is. Okay, cool. And then let's finally add our crash program. User land, add a modest or a uh, helpful program for synthesizing or for generating, um, what do we call it? Provoking different crashes. Currently supported crash types. Division and I for illegal instruction. A for port. Cool. Very, very cool. Okay. So let's just see some of those crashes again. Wait, what? Oh wait, that that was that wasn't right. Uh, our, well, we don't even need it to be that way actually here because now let's here let's say um, if we don't say one of the valid modes, then we should print the usage actually usage print usage exit and. Yeah, this wasn't really finished quality. Okay, that's more like it. Crash I, illegal instruction, that's more like it. Okay, now we got all the different crashes. So let's commit that. And, oh, actually, let me be a little bit sneaky and just uh, include that in the previous commit. Okay. And let's also just check that the usage info shows up. All right, crash, crash F. Yeah. All right. So I think this is going to be it for today's video. So that was a little bit of fixing up the different crash types and making sure that they crash correctly. Um, and I um, guess I'm pretty happy with it. So. If you made it this far, then I thank you for watching and for coming back, and I will see you next time.